Hi friends and family, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, easy, loaded cauliflower mash. You heard me correct guys, we're going to make cauliflower mash today that's loaded with all the fixings. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees and check the description box guys for what you would need for this delicious recipe. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, bring three cups of water to a boil on your stove. Then you'll go ahead and have your four heads of cauliflower. You're gonna remove the green from there like you see me doing right here. After you do that, let's go ahead and chop up the cauliflower, like so. And go ahead and chop all four heads of the cauliflower up. From there, you're gonna go ahead and move it to your sink because you have to wash your vegetable, guys. Wash the cauliflower. Now let's go ahead and put the cauliflower in those three cups of water that we had boiling, like you see me doing here. From there, we're gonna go ahead and steam this cauliflower and we're gonna place the lid on top of this pot like so. You're gonna go ahead and steam, steam, steam. Check on it for 10, after 10 minutes to see if it is tender. If it is tender, remove it from the pot. If not, you know what to do. Continue to steam it, guys. From there, let's go ahead and strain the water off the cauliflower like you see me doing here. We're gonna strain it getting every bit of cauliflower from that pot like so nothing should go to waste i'm going to go ahead and place a clean dish towel in my sink so i can begin to squeeze the excess water off this cauliflower i did half at a time guys so then i'm going to squeeze it and remove the water from there and that's how it looks once i finish with squeezing it and you'll do the second batch like you saw me doing here Next up, we're gonna go ahead and begin to add our ingredients. We're gonna start with two containers of the Philadelphia onion and chive cream cheese. That will be listed in the description box. Gonna go ahead and mix it up like you see me doing here. Mix it up into all is thoroughly combined and add your salt and pepper to taste what you prefer, guys. Next up, this is how it looks before we put it in our nine by 13 baking dish. So I'm gonna set it aside, bring my handy dandy baking dish over, and I'm gonna scoop all those ingredients into this pan like you see me doing. Then I'm gonna smear all of the cauliflower from corner to corner. Um, to make sure that it's just even, guys, when I go to add my other ingredients. So I'm spreading it from corner to corner, making sure that it's all even distributed throughout this pan. Next, we're gonna add our cheese. I love this Tilly Mock cheese, guys. It's a three cheese blend that I love. So we're gonna add three cups of the cheese to the top of the dish, like so. Next up, we're gonna add bacon, real bacon, real bacon bits. Let me say that again. Real baking bits, real baking, to the top of the cheese, like you see me doing here. That's the brand that I use. I bought it from Whole Foods, guys. And it's three ounces a piece. That's why I say six ounces. It's three ounces in each one of those containers. That's how it looks before we put it in the oven, like so. This oven, of course, was three preheated at 350 degrees. This is how it looks when it comes out of the oven, bubbly, delicious, and scrumptious. It won't be a loaded mash without the chives. So we're gonna sprinkle those chives on top like you see me doing here. And guys, you cannot tell me that this does not mimic a loaded mashed potatoes, but it's cauliflower. So this is how it looks, guys. As you can see, we are at the end of the video. I wanna thank you guys so much for always supporting me. And thank you to my 400 subscribers. Yay! Before you go, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below, guys, to be notified. And until the next one, guys, bye!